Hi, and welcome back to Educator.com. The lesson today that we'll be exploring is our introduction of the keyboard. Our lesson objectives will be, first of all, an explanation of the keyboard visual presentation, how the white keys and black keys are laid out, and how to recognize notes using the patterns of white keys and black keys, and an explanation of what middle C looks like, and also uh, every C on the keyboard and treble clef and bass clef. So here's our visual presentation of the keyboard. Everyone has been around a keyboard at some point in their lives, whether it's through TV or the movies or in your house or at your school. Um, it's basically groups of three white keys and groups of four white keys. What we have is a group of three white keys. Here's one, two, three and four. One, two, three, four. This is a really fast and easy way to glance at the keyboard and understand how it's laid out. These white keys are surrounding two black keys. These white keys, the set of three, are surrounding three black keys. So one, two, three white keys, two black keys, one, two, three, four white keys, three black keys. And this pattern repeats over and over and over. So when we are looking at our pattern, we have our set of three white keys. Let's find that first. Let's just point that out on our diagram. OK. When we go up and find the two black keys, OK, let's find the white key that's to the left of our pattern, the first white key, if we are counting from left to right. That is C. So here's a C. Here's a C. Here is a C. This note is also a C, even though we are missing our theoretical black keys on that side. That's a C. It's really easy to find C. Now, when you have your keyboard at home, you may have a keyboard that's not a full 88 key keyboard like a piano is. If you don't, that's fine. We need to talk about how to find middle C on a smaller keyboard. On a big keyboard, the middle C is exactly in the middle of the keyboard. It's really, really obvious to find it. On your keyboard at home, if you don't have a full 88 key keyboard, what you can do is just establish how many octaves you have. Our keyboard here on our screen has one, two, we're showing two octaves, but essentially three octaves. Middle C is the C that you will have in the most middle of your keyboard. It won't be too far down, it won't be too high up, it will be exactly in the middle. And it also sounds like this tone you're hearing. If you're playing a C and it sounds really low, or if you're playing a C that you found and it sounds really high, those won't be your middle C's. Your middle C is always this tone. Okay, so that is how you find middle C on the keyboard. If we were going to find middle C on this keyboard, this, the middle C would be this one. Because this one's a little bit high, this one's a little bit low, this one is really high, so this would be our middle C. So I pointed out all the other C's on the first keyboard. Let's find them again. C in octaves. Now we're bringing in this term, octave. Octopus, eight legs, octet, eight person, ensemble piece, octuplets, eight kids, eight, eight keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight keys from C to C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more keys. Here's one octave. Here are two octaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll draw lines matching each number to each key. Three octaves. I just mapped out three octaves. Your keyboard at home may have two or three octaves, or it may have seven or eight octaves. So octave is a term you'll be listening to and writing and thinking about a lot in music theory.